we got a good chapter today. All right, this week's chapter, chapter 497, Intention Behind the Gathering. So we know that Ohon, Moten, and Sheen are gathering up in like, I don't know what the name of this room is, but it's like this meeting place where all like the strategists are strategizing what we're going to do next because Riboku is building these forts and these cities and these just structures that are interjecting with our plan to conquer Zhao. But the three amigos find out that they're going to be the ones attacking Gyo. They are going to be the catalysts in this war. We find out all right, let's just go through the chapter. But yeah, I thought Sheen's re initial reaction was hilarious. He didn't even know where Gyo was, you know? <laughs> He's just so oblivious. But upon hearing, but upon hearing like, the plan, Moten and Ohon, like, you can just tell by their faces, like, the way that they're like thinking, they're just like analyzing the situation. And because like, Moten is kind of like a strategist too, you know? Like, his brother is, is, is that other guy. <laughs> His name is Moki. <laughs> Moki, bro. Mouki, whatever. <laughs> the names in this fucking manga. <laughs> but Moten and Ohon are analyzing the situation, and Moki, like, silenced, silenced Ten when she was trying to interject and say, like, like, yo, like, this plan is suicidal, like, yada, yada. And he was just like, like, shut your mouth. Like, he, he wanted to see the outcome of Moten and Ohon's anal analysis. Moten was able to see the unpredictableness of the plan and he can see how it could be like a catalyst. I think he understood the danger of the situation. I think he took that into account. I think he knew from the start that this plan was gonna come into action. But Ohon is more skeptical. He doesn't really know if this plan will work and he thinks that and he thinks the strategists like Shobun kun and Shohei kun and Moki, he thinks that like they're like not confident with their plan and that they're just looking for a second opinion or some assurance. But Sh Shohei Kun immediately just shuts him up. Shohei Kun says, The reason why the three of you were summoned here was not because of a lack of faith in this strategy, but because you th your three units will play an important role in what's to come. So, right there. Sheen has put in work, alright? The boy's a 5,000 man commander, alright? He didn't get the credit he deserved for killing Kanki. No, no, he didn't kill Kanki. He didn't get the credit he deserved for killing... She didn't get the credit he deserved for killing Kisho. And now is gonna be the time to shine. And, and what happens in this chapter, you know, it's like, it's like the perfect way to push that plot forward straight up. It's just, this manga is amazing. So Shohei Kun goes on to explain that he understands the concerns and he understands about Ruboku building the fortresses and building the fortitudes to defend against Keen. But he goes, in other words, you know, something outside our expectations is certain to occur on the field. Hence, what will be, hence, what will prove to be crucial is the ability to make appropriate judgment calls on the spot. So they're relying on Sheen Ohon and Moten's instincts. And then, and then he says something that many people have predicted, but this is going to be a key important, like, the, Shohei Kun says, The three of you and your respective units have been given the status of being independent mobile strike forces since your early days, all in the effort of nurturing that ability. So basically, the squads are going to squad up against the enemies, and... The squads are gonna be the strength because we got squads in this bitch, basically. So they're talking still, they're arguing, they're expressing their concerns about this and that, about the strategy. And then Say walks in the room. Our king, our god, <laughs> our boy Say walks into the room and the atmosphere just changes completely. Immediately, Moten and Ohon drop to their knee, drop, to, drop onto one knee and like pay respects and they bow their heads. And Sheen, of course, is late and he's like embarrassed. <laughs> Cause it's like, they're like, they're not like brothers, like best friends. They haven't known each other for like a while. Like they're so close, Sheen and Say. And it's like, 
to watch their relationship bud and grow in like the sense where it's like Sheen gradually just starts to respect Say more and Say gradually starts to respect Sheen more just because their statuses improve and it's like they're capitalizing on their dreams and it's like they're succeeding and they're on a fucking roll but they know that they can't just like succeed now they need to just go in even more and I cannot wait for this war that's to come to blow out into full force man it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be it's gonna be great but say says no need to kneel i'd like you to listen while we stand on equal terms and it's like all right say is the man he's equality law he knows what's good but he says this attack on yo will be a battle unprecedented in not only its importance but also with respect to how harsh and brutal the fighting will be but even so it is nothing more than one of the many difficult trials in this that stands in the way of our path to unification. The three of you and your strength will be required further down the path as well. Do you understand me? The three of you must make your names roar throughout the lands in this battle and elevate yourself to generals. Like, ah, oh man, he's just the best motivational speaker, bro. He's just. He speaks to us, yo. He speaks to everyone. He's the true king of the... Uh, he's the true king of China. And he's going to unite China. Period. But as soon as he says that, Sheen, Ohon, and Moki, and, and, and Moten, they're just like, their eyes light up, and like, they're full. They're brimming of confidence, and reassurance, and, and reason. He then goes on to say, no matter what happens, you must not die here. And... Even Ohon, he's like, your words honor us. Cause you know the Owiki, that like, like that uh, clan, that that family, they have high respects for the King of King. They always have, and as we saw with Owiki, like his loyalty to the King of King and Say, even before he died, was amazing. And I expect no less from Ohon, even with his shitty personality sometimes. And of course, Sheen has to go and like grab them both under his armpits and embarrass himself, like always. And Say says, I'll leave it in your hands, Sheen, at the end of the day. And then Ten brings up the question at the end of the chapter, who is going to be the, su the supreme commander of this attack on Gyo? And then it ends with Shohiko saying, the supreme commander will be dot dot dot. And then the fucking chapter ends, yo. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Who do you think the supreme commander is going to be, man? Is it going to be one of them? Like, maybe, maybe, maybe Moten. I, I can see Moten, like, couldn't, like... Like umpiring for Sheen and and Mo and Ohon, like <laughs> being the referee. I don't know. Maybe they're gonna bring in someone else. I'm definitely missing someone. Let me know in the comment section below. Like, who do you think the Supreme Commander is gonna be? Cause I'm drawing a blank right now. But yeah, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you again for all the recent subscriptions. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm loving this whole YouTube shit. And I love talking to you guys, I love talking about these mangas and animes, and I really feel like more people should watch them anyways. So, if you, if you like this video, share it, comment down below, watch any more of the videos, I'll annotate them on the screen. And as always guys, thanks for everything. Peace out.